While I'm not a full-time member of the Low Cervix Club, sometimes I dabble in it. And so I thought today it would be really fun to explore with you some of the options that work best when you have a low cervix. Hi, I'm Kim Rosas, and I'm the founder of Period Nirvana, which is the educational and advocacy arm of my new platform, and then period.shop, which is the first and only that I know of reusable menstrual product store in the US. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Now, before we get to all of the options for low cervix uh, products, we need to talk about what a low cervix is. The cervix, which is the base of the uterus, moves throughout the cycle, sometimes being lower, sometimes being higher. And so knowing your cervix height is a very important piece of the puzzle to finding the right menstrual product for you, specifically, very specifically, menstrual cups. So what you'll want to do if you haven't yet is measure your cervix height. You can do this while in the shower and you also should do this while you're on your period. And I would suggest doing it on the first day of your cycle and the last day of your cycle. And then take the measurement from your lowest day and use that when you're looking at products that will fit because you want your product that you ultimately buy to fit on every day of your cycle. So to do that, you would put a finger inside and feel for the cervix. And for those who have a lower cervix, it's gonna be right within reach. For the purposes of menstrual cups and other products, it's been somewhat established that a height of 44 millimeters or lower is a low cervix. Now, that is my opinion, and, and it tends to be where low cervix cups fall in their body length. So I would say that if you come in at or around 44 millimeters, you are someone with a low cervix. And you know that number may vary during your cycle, but consider that low number to be the, the number you're working off of. I do have a full how to measure your cervix height video already, and you can find that on this YouTube channel and I'll link it in the description. Having a low cervix does drastically reduce your menstrual cup options. That's just a fact. You know, if you have a high cervix, you can use virtually any of the cups with the exceptions of ones that you might not be able to reach. So you do wanna consider that. But when you have a low cervix, not only are your options reduced in the variety because most cups are um, 47 millimeters or above in their body length, but you also have fewer options in firmness, you have fewer options in style, you have fewer options in the different capacities offered in what shapes will work. So unfortunately, you're picking from a smaller pool, but the point of this video is to walk you through the options that do exist and hopefully of those options, there's something that will work for you. If you have a low cervix, you're not gonna be able to walk into your local Target and find a cup that works for you. So most of the cups at Target are actually quite long. Diva Cup, Flex Cup, um, sometimes Lily Cup, which is also usually at, um, at different pharmacies like CVS and also salt and Cora. Cora is probably your best option out of all of them. Um, salt would be my next choice. But again, they're still not low cervix cup options. So chances are if you buy any of these cups on a shelf, they're going to be too long for you if your cervix is low. So that's why you're gonna have to shop online. Luckily, I've been able to source a lot of these low cervix options for period.shop because I wanted to be able to bring those to customers who didn't have an option uh, at the store. Our first low cervix option that I'm going to show you and talk about is the Marula one size. And while it does say it's a one size, it means that because they have this very long stem and the stem is intended to uh, work if you have a higher cervix so you can reach it. But when you take this completely off, the body of the cup itself is 40 millimeters long which is you know, one of the lower cervix options. So you could remove the stem completely and have a low cervix option. Uh, what's different about Marula compared to any other cup is that it's a round spherical shape and it's quite firm. It does have, I wouldn't call it a wide rim, but I wouldn't call it super narrow. And what Marula uh, touts with their design is one, it has no suction holes. So it creates a suction in the vagina that tries to keep it from slipping. And that works for all different types of uh, pelvic toneness and pelvic floor muscle. But it is still a firm cup. And so I do caution everyone watching to consider that because in my personal experience trying this cup, 
Um, I felt a lot of bladder pressure and despite playing with the placement of uh, the product, I could still feel bladder pressure. And it was more intense than most cups I've tried that are firmer in that it actually made me feel like I had to urinate, almost like when you have a UTI, you feel like you need to urinate. And I didn't feel like I was expelling everything from my bladder. So um, it was not a good product for me. That said, it is one of the most popular low cervix options and people have great experiences. So that's one of the downsides of menstrual cups in general, but especially the shape is that it's hard to know if your vagina is gonna like this firmness or not until you try it. And that's for all firmnesses usually. Uh, one of the biggest selling points of Marula, uh, the one size, is the capacity. It holds 38 milliliters to the brim and there's no suction holes. So it is even a higher capacity than something like the salt uh, regular size, which I believe holds 30. So it has a higher capacity than even a large sized uh, average menstrual cup. So this is really your best option if you have a low cervix and a heavy flow. Yeah, you can't beat it. And then it also comes in a bunch of colors. Now let's talk about Juju Model 4. And Juju is an Australian company. And up until last week, <laughs> um, you couldn't really find it in the US at all. And that was frustrating for me because it's one of the cups that I recommend often for people with the low cervix. So the Juju size four is, again, not the highest capacity low cervix option, but certainly pretty generous at 23 milliliters. And the body is 40 millimeters long without the stem. And this one does have suction holes in it as well. The Juju Model 4 is also pretty firm. Uh, I would say it's somewhere between firm average and firm firm. Um, the rim isn't as firm as the base, so that's good from a bladder uh, pressure perspective. If I'm kind of comparing Juju Model 4 and Marula, I do still feel like they're pretty similar, and I do have to say I haven't tried this one yet to say if it gives me the same bladder pressure as this one. Moving on, we're gonna talk about the Maluna line of low cervix options. And they have a full suite in their, what they call a shorty line. And these are all specifically designed for people with a low cervix. Maluna cups are made in Germany. They are a medical grade TPE. And they come in not only different firmnesses, but they come in different lengths and all kinds of options. So of the Maluna lineup, you have different firmnesses. You have classic and sport. This is um, really good for those who want a softer low cervix option, which so few exist. Um, and most of the cups we're talking about today, uh, they're all pretty firm. So this is a rare um, thing to find a soft low cervix cup. The one I have right now is their smallest, which is very, very small. It only holds eight milliliters. And one of the things too is they have different stem options, but I'm not quite sure how that applies when you're shopping. So I know they have the nub and they have the loop stem, but it is nice that not only do you have um, diameter options, but you have the firmness. This one is the classic firmness. And if I compared these two, you can see that the classic firmness is um, softer than the Juju Model 4. Now, obviously these vary in how much they hold with um, even their largest, which is this one, the XL width diameter with the short length, the XL shorty from Maluna. This being the largest size in that line only has a 16 milliliter capacity. So it's very, very low even amongst you know this being the largest size that they offer. So that is something to keep in mind. If you need a higher capacity, you're gonna have to look at another brand. That does bring us to the Cotton Mermaid Guppy line. And there's some good news and some bad news on this one. So Cotton Mermaid Guppy comes in two different sizes. They're actually the same length. They are both 40 millimeters in the body length with a, with a stem that you can trim down or trim off. And the difference being the diameter and of course the capacity for that. So the size one, the smaller one, holds 24 milliliters and the size two, the larger guppy, holds 28. They do offer two firmnesses. They offer what they call soft and what they call firm. And while that's exciting news, uh, you can't get the soft in the US as of this taping. Hopefully, fingers crossed. 
that will change in the future. So right now, um, I carry the Cotton Mermaid Guppy line and I only have it in firm. So um, I have both sizes, but I don't have both firmnesses. And um, maybe while you're watching this, something has changed. We're working on it. Um, but differences being, you know, the, quite quite a bit different in their firmness. <laughs> like, ooh, that is something, isn't it? Let's see if I can do this like that. Um, the firm is quite firm. I would say this is very firmly in the firm spectrum. Not quite like keeper cup firm, which is a rubber cup. And this one, it's not flimsy soft. So I wouldn't go so far as to call it like soft, soft. I would actually say this one's soft average. But in comparison to how firm their firm cotton mermaid guppy is, this feels, you know, flimsy, but it's not if you compare it to what I would say are really soft, soft cups. Some of the things that I do really like about this cup, um, even though it's not the highest capacity, low cervix option, it is still pretty generous. And I do like the width of the rim of the size two because your cervix has room where it can dip into the cup if it needs to on your lower days. Um, I would say the same for the size one as well. There's definitely room in the diameter to dip. Um, that varies on some of the other models we've already talked about. Um, I'd say yes, it can dip in model four Juju. I would say yes, it can dip in some of the Maluna wider diameters. I would say very iffy on the Marula one size because it does have a narrower diameter. Probably works but it also depends on the angling because it kind of goes in. Another thing that I do really like just um, outside of it being a low cervix cup is that it has these cute um, mermaid scale grips on the bottom to go with the mermaid cup theme, um, even some scalloping along the edge. It has suction holes, which is, um, I prefer cups with suction holes, and it has measurement lines on the cup itself. Um, I have tried this cup because like I said, I am a part-time member of the somewhat low cervix club, not low, low, but somewhat low. And uh, I love this cup too. It was super comfortable for me. Um, I did try the firm because that's the one I had to try and um, it's leak free and everything. This isn't a full review, but just to let you know, I really enjoyed using it. Now let's move to the next option, which is the Hello line of low cervix cups. These are also TPE, like the Maluna cups, but they're much thicker in the materials. So Maluna is a, you know, they have different firmnesses, but they make them quite thin. Um, these are just thicker and um, has like a thicker rim for Hello Cup Low Cervix. Now, I want to say that as much as I really love these cups um, and I find them very comfortable and I've tried them, uh, the large, um, they're very borderline low cervix cups, which is kind of a bummer because they're called low cervix cups. So I'm telling you this as someone who always wants you to make the right call when you buy something, you obviously want it to work for you. And if it's too long, it's not going to work. So you want to look at the measurements of these. The large Hello Low Cervix comes in at 49 millimeters. And this one comes in at 43 millimeters, which means that it's so close to the edge of what I consider a low cervix uh, cup. This one, by my standards, doesn't qualify as a low cervix cup. Um, and like I said, I'm in the somewhat low cervix club on part of my cycle. So when I tried the large hello cervix, it worked perfectly fine for me. Um, so just being completely honest that it is in the club and that it's called a low cervix cup, but it really depends on how low your cervix is, if it's going to work for you or not. Um, that said, going over some of the other things to consider, um, these do have narrower diameters, um, especially the smaller one. So when it comes to uh, your cervix being able to dip, which you may need, especially because these are a little bit longer, um, it's probably possible. It's very similar to the Marula, where um, depending on the angle, you know, it might not be able to, to scoop in, um, but certainly possible with the large. So that might make it something that works for you on your lowest days in the large, even though it's a longer cup. And because these are designed, um, they're slightly larger, their capacity is not as low as uh, some of the others like the Maluna. So um, again, 
checking all these numbers is possible, you just wanna look on the period Nirvana chart and I'll link that in the video description so you can see those again as you need to reference. Um, what I do like about these from a comfort standpoint is that the TPE molds to your body more than silicone. So it goes in like a firm cup uh, when you put it in, but it wears closer to the experience of a softer cup. Um, and since there aren't that many soft low cervix cups, this is somewhat of a consideration as long as the length works from comfort standpoint. And they don't have a stem and I'm always a stem chopper and I think if you're a low cervix person, by necessity, you probably do have to be a stem chopper. So the fact that it's smooth and rounded already is um, a selling point. And it has this kind of nubby thing that helps you remove the cup. I talked about these at length in another video, so you can check that out as well. Um, and some other comparisons to other cups. Um, and these have suction holes as well, so you are able to break the suction a little bit easier. Now that goes through most of what are kind of low cervix cups in terms of their designations and marketing. There are other options to consider if you have a low cervix, one being just using a smaller sized cup that happens to have a shorter body. That comes into play with some of the brands like Salt, their new Saltine, if you remove the stem, is lengthwise considered a low cervix option. Um, it's a softer cup and of course, smaller capacity, and it's also um, you know, a smaller diameter. But that, you know, just look at some of your options and decide, you know, would it be better for you to just get a smaller cup versus something that's technically low cervix. There are also these ball spherical shaped cups that call themselves low cervix cups um, to consider, but they're not as short as most of the other low cervix cups. And with this funnel design that these have, they've been known to suction to a cervix. And if your cervix is low, the chances of it suctioning to your cervix compared to someone with a higher cervix is quite high. So we can see that that's pretty possible and this uterus is very close to scale. So something to think about. <laughs> I've never tried these, which is kind of crazy because I've tried so many, but I've heard they feel also firm and like um, tennis balls basically because they're so wide. But there are people who love them, so I say that as a caveat to every cup. For everyone who hates it, there's someone who loves it. And for a final consideration for my low cervix friends, I have another option and that is the menstrual disc. This is something I've recently become a huge fan of and it's also an option for people with a low cervix in most cases, but not all. So it's inserted differently. You insert it like a tampon and put it in and it tucks, when you put it in, it tucks behind the cervix and up against the pubic bone. And this is why I say it works for some, but not all. If your cervix is incredibly low, you may not have the space for this to um, properly prop up against the pubic bone, which means it could fall down and not stay in place. So you do need a certain amount of real estate. One option too is uh, the Luma brand of disc, which has smaller diameter ones, more likely to fit better if you have a low cervix and wanna try a disc. The benefit of a disc over a menstrual cup is obviously it's a flat product, it's a flat disc. So when it's inside, you don't have to worry about the length of the cup over the, um, the ability to have a capacity. So obviously the smaller Luma disc and the medium have less of a capacity compared to something like the large Luma or the uh, one size Nixit disc, which um, if you just put it under a sink holds 70 milliliters, but obviously when it's squished inside your body, it does reduce the overall capacity of it. It's hard to say if it will work if you have a low cervix before you try it. It's been a mixed reaction to say if the one size product like Nixit works with the low cervix. I've heard it does, I've heard it doesn't. Um, so again, it's one of those try it and see. If your cervix is very low, 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 um, and you are looking at it, you just wanna say you probably need a relatively low cervix versus a crazy low cervix for a disc to have enough space to um, prop in and stay tough. But again, I would say a disc is definitely worth a try if you have a lower cervix and you have a heavier period. Um, it's really your best option other than the Marula one size to have a longer wear time. 
And the added benefit is that if your menstrual disc does the auto dumping feature, which I have a full video on, where it tilts a bit and releases some of the fluid on your toilet visits, um, even something like a smaller Luma, that could give you a longer wear time. So definitely something to consider um, when you're looking at options that work for low cervix. That's everything for me. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. And you can also find me on the Period Nirvana community on Facebook if you need more help. Additionally, there are resources linked in the video description that will show you um, how to find the menstrual cup comparison chart I've used to reference some of the measurements by Period Nirvana. And that has been designed specifically to address um, with a lot of detail, people with low cervixes. So that's something you might want to check out if you're looking for the right cup. Thanks so much for being here, and I will see you in the next video.